If your AirTurn BT-105 is having a hard time connecting to your iPad, we're going to need to try to see if we can reset the pairing. To do so, first, let's make sure that your AirTurn BT-105 is turned off. You see the red power button over here, we're going to press and hold it for about two seconds until you see that red light come on, then let go, and then the blinking red light will show that it's turned off. Okay, good, that's off now. Let's go into your iPad, go into Settings, and then go into Bluetooth. If you have your air turn previously connected, uh, you're going to want to press this blue arrow button next to that and then tap on forget this device. That's going to remove any previous pairings that you have of the air turn. Tap on OK just to confirm and then that device should now be removed. Okay. And let's also turn off Bluetooth settings on your iPad. So now Bluetooth is turned off. Let's go back to your air turn BT-105. We're going to turn it back on, press and hold the red power button until you see a blinking green light. Wait about three seconds. And then after three seconds, what we're going to do, we're, going to, we're going to press and hold the power button one more time, but keep pressing and holding it for about eight seconds. What we're looking for is a series of red, green, red, green, very rapidly flashing lights. Okay, so let's go ahead, press and hold the red power button. And I'm going to count out loud. One two, three, four, five, six. You see that? Red, green, red, green. Yeah. So, that, so between six and eight seconds or so. And count slowly until you see that rapid sequence of red, green, red, green lights flashing back and forth. Okay? Now, make sure that the BT-105 is still on. If it turns itself off, make sure you turn it back on again. Okay? So you can see the blinking green, green light shows me that it's on. Let's go ahead and turn, excuse me, Let's go ahead and put, turn the Bluetooth back on on your iPad. Okay, remember the AirTurn BT-105 is still on. Now you're going to see either the AirTurn with the serial number showing over here, or it may simply say keyboard. In any case, it should say not paired. Tap on that bar, and then it should start pairing after about 5 to 10 seconds or so. The first pairing is always going to take a little bit of time. After the initial pairing, every time you turn your BT your iPad on, and your BT-105 is on, you can see that it's now connected. It should connect almost instantly. Okay, so that's how you can reset the pairing between the BT-105 and the iPad.